Yan, good morning everyone. Yan, ang aga-aga ni Robert kanina. Good morning. Yan. Um, yan. I'll just I'm just gonna read the greetings muna. Uh, nga pala, welcome to the Daily Grind. Uh, we Where is PSI going? Today is June 21. Yan. Saan papunta si PSEI ngayon? All right. Um, I think I think it's looking good. If you want to look at my chart, uh, nakita nyo si MPI. That will be one of my biggest recommendations for this year. Um, MPI is very under undervalued. Anyways, we're gonna discuss about that any uh, in a, uh, in a while. Yan. So, uh, PSEI. Kamusta na si PSEI? Touchdown na. Yan na yan sa support niya. 7,200. It's already at 7,261. Right. So, anytime soon. Uh, uh, basing on price action. Right? Um, basing on the technicals. It should bounce. Kaso nga lang, ang problema is may trade wars tayo eh. So, that's the hardest part. So, we really can't tell. It's still very shaky as of the moment. Uh, so I will still not recommend talaga na getting in. Uh, you can get in. I will not recommend getting in uh, one time, big time. Right? Whenever your stock, especially blue chips, whenever uh, your stock forms a support, mag test buy na kayo and then just buy more on a confirmed uptrend. Right? So that's PSEI. That's the update of PSEI. Yan. Antayin lang muna natin yung iba. Right. Ito, yung, sir, uh, ito yung link for the daily grind. Yung live na link, yung may sulat na live, that is for every time na mag, uh, la-live ako, la, uh, ma-access nyo yan. Right. Uh, but, if you want to watch the replay, don't use the link. Um, ang, ang mga replays is nasa channel ko mismo, then just go to videos, right? Uh, live from Cam- uh, love from Canada. Oy, ayan. Good morning, Mihi. Ayan. Nga pala, guys, ha, uh, majority of my recommendations yung mga tinatanong ninyo, uh, th- these are basing on just price action. I I have no, wala akong oras to really check for their uh, deep technicals, like mga earnings talaga nila, yung fundamentals nila. So, yung mga tinatanong ninyo, I just, check their technical analysis right in fundamentals naman um yun yung mga major na mga recommendations ko like undervalued stocks like SMPH ALI and MPI ngayon we're going to talk about that it's cuz it's already extremely undervalued again right um yan pauna na po sir hello um Robert uh Bruno Clown Robert yan um Robert Anthony Tribian is asking insights niyo po kay DMC MBT, CEB, ALI, SMPH. These are very good companies you're mentioning, right? These are already down at their supports. Actually, yan, dyan na yun sa mga lista ko. Si MBT lang, medyo bearish pa. At saka si CEB. Pero si ALI, SMPH, unti-unti nang um, uh, their downtrend has already stopped. Nagpa-form na siya ng support. Hindi pa stop talaga yung downtrend na. Pero yung pagbagsak niya is... Uh, showing signs of slowing down. So, that's a good sign. So, antayin lang tayo ng solid bounce talaga. So, we're gonna talk about that in a while. Alright, Robert? Yan. Good morning, Day al Kaide. We're just gonna wait for everyone. Jovenels. Jovenels, good morning. And asa na yun? Nawala. Alright, Jovenels. Josephine Calios. Good morning, Sir Coach. Good morning, Josephine. Yan. Bruno Clown. Ferro and OM, please. Uh, let me write that down. Ferro and OM. Yan. Full screen muna tayo. Then, CEB, MBT. Yan. Um, don't get me wrong. MBT is very undervalued already. Kaso nga lang bearish pa. It's a good stock to buy. Let's just wait for it to form a support before getting in. Yan. Ferro and OM from Bruno Clown will get to that in a while. Susan Manalo, good morning. Yan. Annette Bala, good morning, coach. Inside sa Meg, I'll write that down para madaanan natin si Meg. Meg is also undervalued already. Yan. Um, yan. Morning, Ian Savior. Uh, good morning, Joel Igares. And good morning, Harold Gel Bolingo. Yan. Emmy Grace Hoveres, good morning, sir. Vita BRN and now. Vita BRN and now. Let, let me write that down. Vita BRN, tsaka now. Alright. Um, Vita BRN and now. Sino nga ba yan? And from, that was from Emmy Grace. Um, Hazel Mirandes, I'll ask you about BRN. Madadaanan natin yan. Nasa lista niyan. Gilen Kando, good morning, sir. SDR, please. Uh, bumababa si SDR. Gilen. 
uh, I th- I think you asked this also yesterday. I think naipit kasi STR no. Um, just send me a message if you are. Um, maybe I can help you with it. Um, Christian Lacaste, BRN and RLC. Yeah, and si RLC. Siya sa mga biggest recommendations ko in the past. Yeah, and si RLC is still undervalued until the moment. We're gonna go to that. And um, then good morning. Um, pa-review naman po si Meg and MRSGI yan, si Meg na lus- nasulat na natin si MRSGI, bumababa pa rin eh kahit napakamura na right. still, we're gonna talk about that uh, asa na yan um, Joel Ligares, good morning po CLC, actually CLC ang ganda na ng posisyon ni CLC CLC, nasa recommendation ko ba ngayon si CLC? Yes, andito si CLC sa recommendation ko, kahapon pa yan nasa recommendation ko, nag-aabang tayo ng bounce, di ba? We're gonna discuss about that. Something good happened yesterday. All right, for, that's for Joel Igaris. Uh, Darze, good morning, sir. Ano ba thoughts niyo with BSP News? Is that about our inflation going? I mean, yes, yung inflation tumataas pa rin. That's bad, right? Um, these are bad news for the economy. But then again, these will not stop the companies from going up. Um, yes, ma'am. Siguro sa mga investors, uh, babagsak mo na yan. But once it stabilizes, um, investors will st- start coming back in naman eh. Once the, uh, the inflation stabilizes. If that's the news that you are talking about, about the, ang tawag nito, is that about the inflation rate natin na umaakyat from BSP? Um, Darze, just let me know if I was able to answer your question. Yan, Darze, you're welcome. STV, Trader, Sir, PXP, SLS, uh, Shell PH and WPI. Um, let me write that down. All right, PXP. Ah, you're into energy, pala. All right, PXP, SLPH. And then WPI, Waterfront. Yeah. Right, so I'll, I'm still writing them down. Daan na natin yung mamaya. Good AM, sir. IRC still good for long term, considering earnings are going down and undervalued. And overvalued stocks. Oh, we'll talk about that in a while. Aniline, URC. Yung nga lang eh, ang pangit ni URC. Nagpumapangit yung earnings niya eh. Um, Jims, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning then Jims. Ayan. Good day Maestro Web. Ted Abaricia. We'll talk about Web. Web has good news. Ayan. May binili sila ng mga um, casinos dito sa Cebu. Ayan. Shim Cheong Anyong Aseo. So, uy, from Korea. Ayan. AC and ALI. I have those in my recommendations today. So, we're gonna talk about them. Right? Um, JD Manyo. Three, uh, Primex is in 3.01 average. We'll talk about that. Okay? So, yan na muna sa questions. Alright. We'll go through them in a while. So, first, we'll go to, again, review lang si... Uh, si market PSEI kamusta na ba is it time to bounce look at this uptrend support right here nag touchdown na siya we are there already at 7200 um if you are looking for normal technical analysis yes usually magba bounce ito ng, uh, this is a good bounce this will bounce anytime soon i mean pero ang problema is we have trade wars going on kay US at kay China um, nadadawit yung maliit na market and sadly we are one of those <clears throat> kaya I really can't say if this is gonna bounce anytime soon um, what is the best strategy for this or ing- aggressive investors di ba sa mga gusto magsimula kaagad one moment please mm. sa mga gusto magsimula kaagad I will recommend yes if your stock yung mga gusto nyo mga blue chips is meron ng support Right, kung meron na silang support, do not go all in. Yun lang. Right? Don't go all in. If ever, um, magbabounce na ang stock mo, wag mo ilagay lahat ng pera mo dyan kaagad. Right? Wait for it to confirm an uptrend and then that's when you buy more. Right? Sa so, ganyan lang. Problema kasi sa market ngayon is, yes, magaganda na ang presyo, but surprisingly, the market will has been surprising us with even lower prices. Right? We thought at this area right here, magbabounce na mga presyo. It did bounce for a bit before falling down again. And we are now at this very critical level. Right? 
um, hopefully this holds napakamura na niyan even experts uh, around uh, even the experts are saying napakamura na ng mga presyo this is very cheap already i don't uh, going down below pa rin, it's consider it will be considered a crash already around 6000 grabe na yan right sobrang bagsak na ng market na yan right but then again yes um if you're an investor doesn't mean if if the stock market is going down it doesn't mean that the companies are doing bad right the blue chips companies are still doing good right it's just that the market sentiment is down yun lang problema diyan so anytime soon it's still going to go up whatever happens right um so we we'll, going um talking about uh recommendations ano ang pina um number one recommendation ko si MPI ayan na si MPI why MPI it's one of the pinaka undervalued stocks in the market as of the moment uh next to i think ABS-CBN ba yon grabe undervalued si ABS-CBN right um um presyo talaga ni ABS-CBN is around 40 around 40 to 45 pesos ABS is now at 25.95 so sobrang mura na ni ABS FGen is also very undervalued but MPI is on the top of that list MPI is very undervalued right sobrang ganda na ng presyo na yan and look at this right here we have a slowly climbing uptrend right so it's already accumulating actually this is already a triangle right here so MPI is forming that. This is a good sign for MPI. If you're looking for a bagger stock, this is my bet, right? So MPI definitely watch out for it. This is undervalued and has good projects, right? So watch out for MPI. This might uh this might go up anytime soon. Napaka undervalued na yan. So that's one of my biggest recommendations as of the moment. Um, entry point is this line right here or kung mag break out siya for those conservative ones yung mga conservative mag mag invest or mag trade especially for swing trading uh you can wait for a breakout um those who are who can slowly accumulate funds you can start buying at this line right here and then once it breaks out it's already in a, you're already in a good position right so mpi definitely watch out for it so eto na ngayon um mga blue chips smph ali ac unahin ko muna sila smph i'm recommending smph um because look at that kahit pula siya yesterday look at that that downfall has slowed down right and it's now starting to form a support that's a higher that's a higher low right there but yes i think this is a good support already um it's already undervalued. Yeah, mura na yung 34. Pinaka mura niya is 32. But if you miss that, uh, 34 is your next catch. Anyways, wag muna yan yung sinasabi ko. For blue chips right now, we are with the market. Uh, wag muna mag full uh, mag all in dito. For example, your budget for SMBH is around 100,000. Start with 30,000. Yung mga, mga 33,000 yan. I divide mo to 3. 33,000 ipasok mo dito. Then once it confirms an uptrend already, and you just you you can fully buy it now with your full funds, right? Or just another thirty three percent. But this is undervalued, and SMPH is a very good company, right? Um, for yeah, for for those who do not know, hindi lang hindi lang sa Pilipinas SM na, na malls ha. We have malls outside the Philippines SM. I just forgot where that was, but there are SM sa labas ng, ng, ng country. Yeah. Next is ALI. Why ALI? Why am I recommending ALI? Pula siya kahapon, but same setup with SMPH. Look at that. That downtrend has stopped already, right? I mean, not downtrend. Uh, nawawala ako sa terms ko. Um, this uh pullback has stopped already, right? Um, it's already slowing down, right? Look at that price right there. So it's constantly out. It's already slowing down right here in this area. So napakamura na ni ALI ngayon. Um dati akala ko napakamura ng 39, it even went lower to 38. Ito yung sinasabi ko, market will still surprise you with so much uh, with lower prices, right? I thought this was all this was already a recovery, but then when the trade wars happened last week, look at that. Bumaba na naman. So uh 
surprisingly, yes. Yan. Ang kagandahan kasi na strategy na not going all in is if you test buy here at this area, right? Bumagsak siya. It's okay. This is so very undervalued already. Right now, we have support sa mga hindi nag-sell. Um, this is a good point to average down. Um, majority sa audience natin are newbies. So, I will recommend investing. This is a good position for investing kay ALI. SMPH din. Maganda na kanina. Next is AC. Yan. We have the bounce. We've been waiting for this bounce. This is very solid support right here. Kahit pabagsak ang market, the support has held on. That's a good sign. Right? We have a support right here and we have a bounce. Uh, this is your... This is... This can be considered as a confirmation for Ayala Corporation because we are already at the support area. Kaso nga lang, galing siya sa pullback eh. Uh, we don't have that engulfing yet as of the moment. So, 50-50 pa siya. But this is a bounce right here at the support area. So, that's good. This is the deepest support right here. The first support niya na tinamaan niya. Look at that. Same price. Nag-bounce siya. And then, we have a bounce already. So, this is a buy sign for AC. Again, with this kind of market, wag all in. Right, I don't want to repeat that uh, the process anymore. Basta yun lang ang keyword. Don't go all in. Right, start just start accumulating. Right, mag accumulate na muna kayo. That's, so that's uh, MPI, SMPH, ALI, and AC. Right, next is EMP. Right, Emperador still very very stable at that price right there. So just keep on accumulating. Right. So um, before I go back to my uh, go to my continue my. Uh, Recommendations for today. I'll go back to your questions. And so, yung mga linista ko ng mga questions kanina. So, may tanong about Ferro. I just can't remember sino mga nagtatanong. Ay nga pala guys. Yan. Ferro, right here. And after this bounce right here. Ganda ng bounce na support na yun, no? Ferro continued, but we are very near resistance already, right? Ingat na lang ng konti. Uh, I don't, I will not recommend Ferro for now. We already missed this opportunity. Huwag nyo nahabulin yan. Do not chase missed opportunities, okay? If you are watching Ferro, dapat inabangan mo na siya dito sa support na ito, right? If you're watching Ferro. Pero you already missed that opportunity, huwag mo nahabulin yan. Just wait for it to do a pullback. And that's your entry point right there. Wag, I don't like uh, positioning breakouts as of the moment since the market is bearish. Yung mga breakouts hindi ka nag hold. So I'll recommend just wait for the pullback before getting in. Do not chase this missed opportunity already. That's for Ferro. Next is OM. Right, si Omiko Corp. Yeah, nagbalinjo ba trigger na siya. That's good. That's, that's a good sign for Omiko, right? Um. But then again, we have a resistance right here. Kontang ingat lang. You can, if you want to be aggressive, you can try the breakout right there. Pag nag breakout yan, just make sure you're responsible enough to cut loss at uh, below this resistance right here. Right? So this is the resistance as of the moment. Pag nag continue yan, you can be aggressive. Yet yeah, it's good to be aggressive also. Look at IS. Kahapon, I don't know what, bakit walang nagtanong ng IS. Walang nagtanong bakit nag-Bollinger Band trigger siya. Nag-Bollinger Band trigger na pala si IS tsaka breakout. We did not go through this. I'm not sure if na-discuss natin no kahapon. I don't think so. But if I saw this Bollinger Band trigger right here, that's a higher low. We could have put this on our watch list already and we could have won this. This is why I always say do not underestimate bullish stocks. Right? Nag-Bollinger Band trigger si IS kahapon. That was our signal to watch this. And then if mag-continue yung bullish niya, that was our entry point right there. So we missed that already. Sayang naman. Right? But then again, the lesson is do not underestimate these kinds of movements. Yung mga Bollinger Band triggers na yan. Same with OM. Kaya tinanong ni si OM ng Bollinger Band trigger. Yes, it's the same setup kay, uh, kay IS. As well as different industry. Ano nga ba to? Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't did do. Uh, I haven't done a background check for Omiko yet. I don't know the company as of the moment. You know, ganun ako eh. If I don't know the company, I really won't buy their stocks, right? So I'm gonna uh, read about Omiko in a while. At maganda yung Bollinger Band trigger niya. So you can watch this, right? Pag nag breakout yan, that can your, be your entry point. Just be responsible enough to watch the market and then cut loss below that. Kasi malayo layo pa yung bagsak mo. If ever that fails. Right, um, that's for OMCEB. Yeah, napakamurang CEB na ngayon. Right, yesterday it 
formed a 52 week low ngayon nag bounce na sa CEB uh, may dividend siya this was June 8 so tapos na pala yan so right now yes uh, maganda yung bounce niya okay ba yung earnings na CEB ngayon yan okay naman pala yung annual niya negative 18 lang right so um still on a downtrend very risky Uh, we have a good support right here. I'd rather you wait for it at this support. Yes, na green nga siya kahapon, but it opened right there and a gap up. Aso nga lang walang volume. So, I'd rather wait for it to uh, to make an- another support. Antayin na lang natin yung confirmation talaga. And then, let's catch a new support for CEB. Right? It's still very bearish. So, I'm not really recommending it for the meantime. Yeah, and we have a question about MBT. And yeah, MBT is very undervalued. We have a bounce already. And yeah, very good find. This is a bounce you can test by already for MBT. That's a that's a healthy volume for MBT. So I guess this is gonna bounce if ever it feels at MA20 at least pwede naman kayo mag-sell dyan. You can test by already MBT, right? That's one of my recommendation for today. MBT and yeah, hopefully this will hold. Yeah, no guarantees naman. Eh. Um still bearish right? it's looking like it's still bearish but there's a good volume on that bounce yesterday so that can be a good sign if you're looking at mbt very undervalued um let me check ko nga ulit yung undervalued mbt and undervalued siya um ang buy price niya dapat is around 85 pesos right ngayon nasa 72 na siya that's how cheap mbt is it's fair price is around 85 pesos i'm not sure can you open your call and then tingnan yung fair value ni mbt ano linagay nila um i think it's around 85 pesos and then 72 napaka napaka mura na niyan and that's a good buy right there anyways mbt is a good company i will not recommend uh selling uh mbt if ever the support loses more right rsi is doing good right yung yung MACD niya is starting to constrict already and mer- we have that curves already. So, this is a good sign for MBT, right? We have we are we have reached RSI levels na 25, it's now at 27. This is a good sign for MBT mag-test buy na kay MBT. Right? Um I'm gonna check out your chats and um MBT yon. Uh next question was Meg. Yan, isa sa mga undervalued din si Meg. MEG. Right, so Meg, right now, look at that. That doji yesterday was good. That's a good sign. That was a good sign. We have a bounce, confirmation bounce right here. Pwede na kayong magbili kay MBT. I mean, kay Meg, right? This can go up, but resistance is right here. So, don't commit yet, okay? Um, so, just accumulate. And then, if it forms a higher load, then you just buy more, right? You've, you start accumulating now, okay? Meg, right? Meg has good projects, good good earnings naman eh. Um, definitely is very good. Uh, let me see the value, undervalue ni Meg. Yan, undervalued pa rin si Meg. Fair price is around uh, 6 point, uh, 5.12, I believe. Right? And then, yan, um, it's still at a good position, 4.6. That's still, uh, that's still very cheap for Meg. Right, so you can still earn in Meg. That's just a very good position for Meg. That's a con- good confirmation. Good job, so nagtanong kay Meg. So I'm gonna put Meg on my recommendations for today. Yan. So yeah, next one is Vita. Isa sa mga tanong is Vita. Let's check out Vita. Kamusta na si Vita? Yan. Vita, after breaking down that support, it's forming a higher low but still it's a negative Bollinger Band trigger so we don't know for sure if this there is reversal already baka nag rest lang yan ng konti before really going down again but the selling volume yesterday was kind of low so that's a good sign so nga lang you can't bet on this as of the moment right just wait for that uh, this is a red trigger right antayin natin yung engulfing na kasunod nito today pag nag engulfing yan end of the day at around 3 o'clock if it sustains a green candle And above this red one right here, above 2 point, above 2.70, and then that's a confirmation, right? That's a confirmation na possible tapos na itong pagbagsak na ito, right? From that's the down, uh, that's the fall from a sideways trend, right? Nag sideways ito eh for, yan, for how many days nag sideways si Vita, right? So this is possible. This is possibly a good sign, right? Remember this setup right here. The higher lows is get is increasing. Uh, I can't remember anong stock yung tiningnan natin na ganyan eh, 'di ba? But this is a good sign already. 
Right? So, pwede yung mag-bounce anytime soon. Um, so, that's for Vita. Vita, di ba? Let's, we'll talk about BRN. Kamusta si BRN? It's still holding on to its support right there. Still holding on to its support. Still sa stabilizing. Right? Still stabilizing. Walang gusto magbenta. Walang gusto bumili na mas mahal naman. Right? So, as of the moment, nag, uh, nag-stabilize pa siya. Right? BRN, I'm not sure if BRN is overvalued. Uh, can you please, uh, I'm not sure if may, may uh, fair value research nito si Cole. But, uh, definitely good earnings. This is backed up by good earnings annual and Q1 earnings. These are very good numbers. BRN has a solid support right there. Buy as long as the support holds. Yun yung for the technical analysis nito naman, di ba? I'm not sure if this is undervalued or overvalued. So, for investors, I can't really say. But price action-wise, uh, maganda naman yung support niya. This is solid support right here. Alright, so... Yan. Um, before we continue, guys, if you want to support me, please go to, uh, we have a super chat option dyan sa, su- sa chat natin. There's a dollar sign before this, uh, after the smiley. You can donate to the channel para makontinue natin yung advocacy natin to help Filipinos, especially those who just started investing on how to, uh, how to look for stocks to get into. Alright? Um, Sorry. And then, uh, number two is, yan, talking about, what you call this? Talking about cryptocurrency. Yan. I'm gonna talk a bit about cryptocurrency, okay? Um, ano advantage? Why are people embracing cryptocurrency? Ganito kasi yan eh. The biggest advantage of cryptocurrency is like this. Peso right now is going down. Right? Pababa ng pababa si peso. What if mag-crash ang peso? There are countries out there na walang kwenta ang government talaga na napabayaan nila economics nila and then their money is has no value anymore. Yan. But what if nung may value pa ang pera mo, binili mo ng bitcoins ng mura? Right? So even if your company's economy go da- goes down, the value of your money goes down, your money is safe. Bakit? Because... Binili mo ng Bitcoin. Bitcoin is decentralized. Walang naghahawak ng government niyan. So, the government cannot affect it. Has no effect on it. Right? Kahit na bumagsak ang government nyo, di ba bagsak si Bitcoin. So, safe ang pera mo. Kasi ang problema niya, kung sa, kung binili mo, um, kung sa banko mo linagay, tas bumagsak ang economy ng isang company, pabagsak din ang value ng pera mo. So, that's one of the advantages of Bitcoin. That's why it's going strong. Right? Bitcoin is really revolutionary. Kaso nga lang, there were hackings na nangyayari sa China, yung sa mga malaki naghahawak ng Bitcoin if because they don't know how to uh, they become targets for high level uh, hackers. Yan, yan ang problema kaya bumabagsak sa Bitcoin. But these these uh, hacks were were really uh, a really small value naman sa Bitcoin. Let me just adjust my ano. So, but then again, yes, uh, the the technology is still improving, right? But I want you guys to be ready for that revolution. Sa Manila, meron na tayong city. I think it's Rojas. Meron na tayong cryptocurrency city, right? Um, crypto hub na ano. Um, meaning, yung mga sidewalk walk vendor sa city nila, tumatanggap na ng Bitcoin for uh, for for payments. So, that's that's good. Right? That's a good sign that Bitcoin is getting on, on track in the Philippines at least, di ba? Um, so, I want you guys to be prepared for that Bitcoin, uh, v- for the Bitcoin revolution talaga when it's it will really become accepted dito sa sa mundo natin, di ba? So, if you wanna prepare, create a CoinsPH that account, you can buy Bitcoin there. There is a link at the description, right? Um, creating an account is free. Just verify it kasi ang verification can take three days. Uh, pag nag kayo na mag-verify, you just need an, an ID. And then, once your account is verified, whenever you want to, you can buy Bitcoin, right? Pag tingin mo, uy, maganda yung possession ng Bitcoin, you can only, already buy Bitcoin. You can use that Bitcoin to buy, I mean, to enroll to a cryptocurrency broker and then you use that Bitcoin to buy other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is the center center currency of the cryptocurrency. So, you, please use that link below. Right, Susan Manalo is asking about IMI. Let me write down IMI. Right, IMI. 
Ayun, marami-rami yung tanong natin ngayon. So, we are now finished with BRN. May nagtatanong about now. Let's talk about now. Uh, delay na naman si TOR. So, we have, we're starting to, to form a support right here. Um, meron tayong support dito. I'd rather wait for it at this support where it bounced strongly before. Right. So, abangan niyan yan sa, sa, ano niyan yan, sa, sa support na yan. Kaso nga lang yan. Ang problema is delayed ang uh, delayed ang TOR na naman. Uh, we have a hel- uh, we have a dono- donation from Robert Anthony Tribiana. Thank you for so much for that. It will go a long way. Uh, it will be used to continue this program every day to help everyone. Thank you so much for that. Right. So again, okay now, I'd rather wait for it at this support right here para mag-test buy. Huwag niyo habulin muna yan. Medyo mataas pa yan. And then we have no good news. Okay now, for the meantime, so it's still on a downtrend. The downtrend is right here. So hopefully this support holds. That's our entry point. Don't go all in. Right, yun lang talaga. If you are a position trader, even in, even in ano, even in investors ngayon, I don't, I will not recommend for you guys to go all in. So just test buy lang muna, cause the market's really unpredictable as of the moment. Up, yeah. So continuing sa mga questions niyo, that was for now. I just forgot sino nagtanong niyan. But hopefully, I was able to answer your question. STR. STR. Kamusta si STR? Yeah, nag-break na naman. After breaking the initial support, nag-consolidate siya and then it broke its support again. Right? For me, kasi si STR is kind of overvalued as of the moment. Right? So, but then again, we are at this level right here. Very near level na sa yung major, ano niya, yung major area niya kung saan siya naglalaro talaga ng, ano, ng... Ng galaw. So we have a new support right here kaso, uh, at around 7.90 right here. I'm just gonna put that down. So we are at this level right here. It's just a support level. Uh, STR, bearish. Yeah, I don't want you guys to risk on something like this because this was just a telco hype. This is this this hype was just about the telco. And to sumama lang naman to kay heaven. Eh. But right now, STR is going down kasi nga lang, they have an oh v, uh, Vista Mall pala yon hindi yon sa ST Neon Star Mall so that was a VLL mall that was op- that has opened so uh STR we have a support definitely if you are looking into STR this a bounce right here will be a good area to buy just test buy right you can always test buy right? but i'm not recommending STR as of the moment kasi i think it's it's still very bearish right RLC right here. So RLC, bakit si RLC? One of my recommendations, strong recommendations on RLC is very good. Uh, good earnings and um, also look at that. We have this uptrend right here. Not cut yung uptrend but it formed a support right here. Right? The major support right here, one of the major support kung saan siya nag, uh, uh, nag-consolidate was already hit and it's starting co- to consolidate again. It's a good time to start accumulating RLC again. RLC for value wise and undervalued si RLC right it's uh fair price is around 23 pesos it's still at 1950 right maganda pa rin yung uh, maganda pa rin yung position niya 23 pesos is still far away 22 22 to 23 yung nas, yung fair value niya so it's still undervalued right ang ganda pa rin ng position ni RLC right this is a good company to get into marami silang future projects one if you are looking for a bagger this is one definitely one of them right rlc is undervalued so check it out right mrsgi and may tanong kanina about mrsgi right. so mrsgi is uh the strong selling pa siya so right now medyo mura pa talaga siya uh so i mean mura siya pero medyo bearish pa talaga siya after breaking the support right here uh it went down and then nag continue so we don't have a reversal sign of, as of the moment but look at that rsi is at 19.98 but don't ever let rsi fool you kahit na mababa ni rsi niya look at look at this right here um nung unang pula niya rsi was already 26 akala natin hindi na ba, akala mo if akala mo hindi na bababayan look at that surprise market still went down even further and then now RSI is at 19, right? You just wait for a bounce. That will be a good area 
to start accumulating again, right? Mag-accumulate ka ng MRSGI. But definitely, MRSGI is a good company. Right? Nagpula lang siya sa Q1 niya kasi nasunog yung Ayala Mall, yung Ayala no, sa Cebu. Yan yung isa sa mal- mal- malaking losses nila talaga. Pero look at that, just negative 5.8. Um, quarter 1 earnings, 23%. I mean, annual earnings increases 20, 20%. Look at that, Q3 earnings, uh, 1,000%. This is a good company, right? So, um, wait na kayo, mag-abang na kayo ng another good position. This should have been a good position, kaso lang it failed after the trade wars. Yet, um, imports are getting expensive. Sa taxes, isa, sa sila, isa sila sa mga na-hit talaga ng mga ng train but this is very uh, this is already a good position for MRSJ and Thailand tayo ng reversal signs and then this can be a ba- bagger right so another question CLC and CLC is in one of my recommendations today so let's talk about CLC why CLC look at that I told you yesterday MA20 after this Sabi ko, nag-slow down na yung sell-off niya. So, that's a good sign. And then, voila. Here's the confirmation you are looking for. That's another chance to get in CLC. Right? Maganda yung position na yun kay CLC. Right? So, this is a cha- this is the confirmation you've been waiting for. If gusto nyo sumakay kay CLC, kasi hindi kayo nakasakay sa unang climb niya, this is, the good, this is a good pullback right here at MA20. Right? So, CLC is in my recommendation today rcb also rcb yan as a recommendation kaya ngayon kasi yan we talked about this at the pala si rcb pala yon i talked about this this slow climb right here that means that that downtrend most probably has uh, has stopped or nag post lang siya we can't be sure but this is very low levels already this is at 16 so this is a good sign right here the, this green one yesterday i recommended rcb yesterday diba wait for the bounce if you if you want to review that go ahead but then again yes we were right the bounce is there and this is our signal na tapos na itong uh, most probably tapos na itong bagsak na ito and it's gonna form a support anytime soon this is the time to accumulate rcb this is very good price for rcb already it's MBT, maganda impression niya, very low already, under, very, very undervalued. So nga lang, bearish price signal ng MBT. So let's just wait for MBT to form a... Ay, okay, okay na nga pala. So MBT, right? we have a bounce kay MBT right here. Uh, I'll, I've already put MBT on our recommendation. So just a review about the recommendations. Yan, si MB, MPI, number one. Right? I will keep on posting about MPI kasi maganda ang position talaga ng MPI. SMPH, ALI, AC, MBT, EMP, RCB, and CLC. So, yan muna. Um, BRN also. Yeah, we talked about BRN already. Yan, because it, it's at its support. Right? Buy as long as the support holds. Sa recommendation ko rin, meron DMC. Why DMC? Look at that. DMC. Bumaba nga siya, but look at this. Nag- tumigil na yung baba niya, pagbagsak niya. So, it's starting to accumulate at that support again and that's our cue na pwede nang bumili. You ha- if you wanna be, uh, what do you call this, conservative, wait for confirmation, bounce lang talaga. But this is a support already right here. So, maganda na position ng DMC. Right? DMC is very undervalued. Right? Nasa undervalued list ko ba si DMC Wala nga pala. But the performance of DMC is doing good, right? Quarter 1 earnings, 5%. Uh, annual is 16%. Q3 is 16%. Q2, positive lahat. Halos positive lahat. But the, then again, and Q1, last year, 30%. Annual niya, last year, 3%. So the company is doing good, but market sentiment is going down. This is a good sign right here. Meron na tayong support right here. Very solid support kay DMC. So, DMC is one of my favorite list. Ayan. Next is Wilcon. I'll talk about Wilcon. One moment, please. Alright, Wilcon. Alright, Wilcon has been a bagger. Right? Bagger talaga. Kahit sinong pumasok kay Wilcon, nanalo. Right? I don't think may natalo kay Wilcon except doon sa mga pumasok dito sa taas. Then again, there, there. At least, nasabi ko, pull back to MA20. We have a higher low already. This is still on an uptrend right here. 
Ito yung sinasabi ko kahapon, wait for a good, uh, good pullback. Get near as to this red line as much as you can if you wanna get in, right? So, yan. Wilcon is one of my recommendations. So, ANI um, is right here. Still holding that breakout level. And I still looking good, right? Um, if it fails right here, wag, um, antay nyo muna mag -green na. If in case it fails, antay nyo sa MA20. These are the two entry points. Pag nag-green yan si ANI, that's a good time to enter. Kasi that will confirm this breakout, right? This will confirm that breakout. Kasi as of the moment, shaky pa yung breakout niya. If in case it fails, wait for it at MA20 and then let it do a bounce there. Yeah, that's for ANI. Right. Next one is Meg. We talked... Have we talked about Meg already? And ay nga pala, we talked about Meg kaya linagay ko pala siya sa recommendation ko. So those were the recommendations. Going back to your questions ngayon, medyo marami-marami marami yung questions. We are finished with CLC. Let's go to PXP. Time check muna. Um it's 8:57. Ang bilis ng oras. Uh, uh, I don't know why it's the Time is very fast with you guys, right? It's already 45 minutes. Feeling ko, 15 minutes to 20 minutes pa lang ang dumaan. <laughs> so, let's talk about PXP. Yan. The support right here held on strong. Like, there. We have this solid support right here. Kaso nga lang, wala pa tayong green na confirmation talaga. Uh, if you want to uh, get in PXP, antay kayo ng green, you can test by if there is a green movement for PXP. Right? Um... Before we continue, guys, nga pala, uh, talking about financial freedom, if you are looking for ad other avenues para makapag passive income kayo, right? The key to financial freedom is really increasing your passive income. Kahit lang mag-gain kayo ng 1,000, 2,000 a month passively na wala kang ginagawa, that's already good, right? The key to financial freedom really is to increase your passive income. Your passive income, ito turo ni Robert Kiyosaki, your passive income should exceed your monthly expenses. That way, kahit magkasakit ka na isang araw, because you have a passive income that can cover for that, you are financial free, financially free. Wala kang takot kung magkasakit ka man or hindi ka makapasok. You are financially free if your passive income is uh, exceeds your monthly expenses. Yan yung target nyo dapat to become financially free. And one good avenue for passive income is copy trading. Copy trading kasi is you can invest in foreign markets, but the good thing is that you don't have to trade your, for yourself. There is this copy trading na kung saan pwede ka maghanap na magagaling na traders, their portfolios, their performances are very transparent. So, if you think this guy is very consistent, you can copy trade him automatically. Your funds copies his funds and then whatever he earns in percentage, you earn too. Right? So, ganyan ang copy trading. So, wala kang ginagawa. Let the other traders do the trade for you. Check out eToro. Meron akong link sa description sa video. You can create an account using that link. Please use my please use my links because this will help me in return. Also, um yun, uh, you will get a hundred thousand USD na virtual funds if you use my link. You can use that to practice. Check out uh and test out the copy trading. See for yourself makano na earn nyo. Right, so going back. Right. Uh, nasa na tayo. PXP, we're done with PXP. SHLPH. We have a question about SHLPH. And Shell. Ito yung sinasabi natin. We are at resistance level. Most probably, babagsak na naman ito sa support niya. Because Bollinger Band is telling us na um, it's gonna do sideways for the meantime. There's no significant movement as of the moment. So, I think magsa-stabilize pa muna to. Let's wait for that stabilization for now. Nasa resistance tayo. So, na let's not get in at the resistance. Next is WPI. Right, WPI, um, it's stabilizing. We have a support right here. We have a strong support actually. Ilang beses na to na hit. So, you can test out this support. Right, WPI is good comp... Uh, Ang pala, pangit pala ng quarter 1 earnings nila, kaya pala bumabagsak yan. Haven't done studies kay WPI lately. But then again, yan, if price action wise, uh, may support naman siya. 
look at MA20 pabagsak. That means pababa pa rin yung stock. So I think this is still on a downtrend. Baka mag-fail yung support na yun anytime soon. So I don't want you to test that out. Uh, it's kind of risky for the, for the meantime. But it's at its major support. But I don't think this is gonna hold, especially with this kind of market. But if you really want um, uh, WPI, you can test out this uh, this support. Again, I can be wrong kasi. I, I think this is gonna go down, but I can be wrong. It can go up. Um, checking out this previous support right here. Ang ganda ng previous support niya. So it's at that area. So it can go up. There's also that possibility. So if you really wanna bet with WPI, just test buy lang muna and then just buy more on a confirmed uptrend right next is urc and there's a question about kanina urc is overvalued um bad earnings niya quarter one chaka annual double digits so that's kind of painful and still very negative negative all right so but then again we are at, at its major support right here major support is around 112 Right. We can wait for it at 112 and test buy from there. That will be a good point to buy URC. Right. Kaso nga lang, then again, this is a uh, bearish market. So, konting ingat lang. So, at 112, wait for it at, to, to bounce at 112. Right. If it bounces at 112, you can test buy. That's for URC. Um, web. Ayan, si Web. And web right here is forming a support already. You can see the aggressiveness of web already. Yeah, na my new si web. I'm not sure if it's ayan. Web Phil Web buys two e game sites in Cebu. My binili na naman silang e game, so they're expanding. Right, that will increase their earnings. I just really wanna see yung quarter earnings ni web, uh, second quarter earnings nila. So it may go, come out at July or August, siguro. Um, but and web is stabilizing right now look at that bollinger band starting to stabilize hopefully this is already this is actually this is already a cheap price for web right 5.15 right? they just they just had a bad uh, last minute uh, news last year sa last quarter nila kay bumagsak talaga sila and then they're already operating again look at this difference in earning look at this quarter third quarter look at that negative 66 million income negative 1000 percent that is because they were not operational right? na, na suspend kasi yung license na saglit eh, diba? but then again when their license was released look at this right here this spike suddenly happened right but then again the market is bearish kaya bumabagsak siya but look at these earnings um annual earnings Kahit na negative 294 million yan, look at the percentage. From 1,000, from negative 1,000, biglang naging 1%. That's an improvement. Look at this. Quarter earnings, first quarter is 59%. Meaning, they're already starting to earn. Kahit negative yan, it's, ang ano kasi yun eh, um, comparison kasi yun sa last quarter nila eh. So, there it is. It's in, um, quarterly. It's increasing fifty nine percent. So that's a good sign, right here. Web. This is showing you that web is. Um, tawag dyan, web is starting to expand again. So this is a good sign for web. So if you're looking for a bagger stock, antayin yon ito na mag break ng MA twenty niya, or you can start accumulating here and then just cut loss. Web is definitely good already. I'm. I will be starting to recommend web. Pero mamaya na, especially for newbies, I really want to wait for web to break this downtrend right here. Again, before I will officially recommend web. But this is already good position kay web. Right? Um, Primex. We'll talk about Primex. And right, Primex, dalawang araw siya na red, but still holding on to that breakout level. This is still good for, for Primex. Right? Just, I don't want you guys to buy yet. Just wait for a confirmation. Actually, nag-bounce na siya. Ma medyo mataas na yung bounce niya. So, I want you guys to watch Primex for any bounces. Pag nag-bounce siya, that is a sign that mag-continue yung pag-akyat niya. If it fills this breakout right here, wait for it at MA20. But definitely, Primex is already at a good position right here. So, antay na lang muna tayo ng confirmation talaga. I want you guys to wait for it at support. I mean, that previous resistance, 
Wait for it to bounce there before getting in kasi medyo shaky yung position niya. Look for the best position as much as possible before getting in Primex kasi nasa taas na si Primex. Already if you already missed the train here. Right, that's for Primex. Um, next is IMI. May tanong ka tayo kay IMI. Right, so IMI and we have a support right here. Actually, nasa support area na siya. So, um, right now, IMI, kind of shaky, but we have a strong support right here. Um, Bollinger Band is telling us na medyo stable impression niya, kaso nga lang, MA20 still looking downwards. Still a bearish movement for, uh, not really bearish. Yeah, medyo bearish pa rin siya. It's not that, the sell-off is not that strong, right? So, IMI, wait for it to go to its support before it really getting in, right? The support is right here. This is the best area to buy. Medyo mataas na siya. May resistance kayo dyan. So, konting ingat. Still very shaky. So, kasi may resistance kayo dyan. Medyo malapit niya kayo. Resistance. Huwag mo nang pumasok. Right? So, I'll go to your questions. Yan. Last ko na na basa is IMI. Sino ba yan? Um, Ted Abaricia. Good morning. Web. Yeah. You asked about web. Shim, Shim Chong. Uh, Anyong. AC and ALI, we discussed about that. Primex, yun. So, Primex 3.0 yung 3.01 yung average niya. Yan. Medyo shaky yan. Delikado yan. But you ha you have to cut loss bil uh, this right here. At this uh, resistance right here. Right. Susan Manalo. Yan. Kay Susan Manalo pala yun. Right. So, time check. 9.08. Let's spend the last 12 minutes with your questions. All right. DD, sir. Sparkfire. DD. Um, Medyo baba pa rin sa BB, DD. Ayan. But look at that. Um, RSI is already at 17. There's this position again right here. So the sell-off has already stopped. Most probably. And grabe na sell-off na yan. So this probably will start the uh, start a bounce for DD. So wait for that bounce and then you can test by there. RSI is re really very low already. So okay na yan kay BB, DD. Sorry. Randy, ah, sorry, yung, sh yung screen pala, alright, sorry, DD right here, and, ah, sorry about that, and DD right here, ito, um, starting to slow na yung sell-off niya, and then RSI is at a very good level already, 17, 18, it's very low already, so it's very oversold na, so it's time to check this out, right, wait for that green one, and then pag na green yan, that will spark a bounce. That should spark a bounce. Um, I'm not really sure nga lang. Uh, I can't really, can't really say. But that's a good sign. Pwede yung umakyat and then bumaba ulit. At least meron kayong pwede makita dyan. But if you are looking for an area to average down, wait for that green one right there. Definitely average down kay DD. Right, that's where DD spark fire. Um, Randy, Sinisa, Sir Lloyd, what about SSI and IS? SSI. It's so right here, SSI. And um, haven't done fundamentals kay SSI, so I really can't see. Quarter 1 earnings, just negative 1. Annual is good. Uh, Q3 is good. Good earnings niya. We have dividends for July 3. Tapos na. Even held at dividends, SSI. So, um, SSI. Nagbago sila ng directors, eh, diba? Um... I can't say for now, but it has for it's forming a support. I'd rather wait for because downtrend pa siya, delikado pa te. Um, wag na muna, right? It's forming a sideways movement, but I'd rather wait for it to do a rounded bottom for to be really sure. Right? If you don't know what a rounded bottom is, check it out. Maybe I can show it to you. Uh, Right, I'll look for a rounded bottom really, really quick. And so this is a. Asan yun? So the I uh, yes, this is the rounded bottom. Ito na pala. rounded bottom. So it's it's moving average is moving downwards and then accumulate na siya right there. This is what's happening to SSI, right? 
starting to accumulate. Mawawala ng volume yan once it starts to accumulate. But right now, it's still going down. So, very volatile. I mean, very uh, grabe pa yung mga movement niya as of the moment. So, I'd rather wait for it to do a rounded bottom and then pag na-break na yung moving average niya. I think that, uh, this is this is MA20 and then MA50 yung, uh, yung gold na yan. Right? So, pag na-break niya na yan, that's our entry point. So, wait na lang muna for SSI. Uh, next one is question ni ano ah ay sisigilan naipit pala si STR yan medyo bearish pa talaga si STR um, STV trader from city of San Fernando yan Pampanga yan thank you so much asa nga ba yung question yan IS pala yan si IS discussed about IS earlier Ito, this is why I don't want you guys to uh disregard bullish stocks look at this right here is nag bollinger band trigger yan kahapon i wasn't checking the uh, my screener yesterday but if i check this out i would have seen is right look at that nag bollinger band trigger pala siya kahapon so if ever a stock does a bull bollinger band trigger watch out for that stock yun yung karamihan ng mga recommendations ko to watch out if it touches the bollinger band never underestimate that and then watch that stock Pag nag-bullish na yan, sakyan mo yan. Right? That's what happened to IS. Um, right now, medyo mataas na siya. But then again, this is a bullish stock. So, watch it. I will not recommend buying it or selling it because I don't know the price action yet for today. This is a bullish stock. If it starts a bullish action again, you can get in. But, Yan na, FOMO kasi yun eh. This is a planned FOMO. How, this is how you plan a FOMO out. Uy, say IS, ang laki kahapon. Gusto ko bang habulin to? You can, but as long as you can watch the market. If it's gonna be bullish intraday, ride it, but mag-trailing stop loss lang kayo. The strategy for this is not position trading anymore, not for swing trade. Ang available dito is just for intraday trades, for mga chupit-chupit na ito. So, yung, yung mga gustong pumasok dito for swing trade, wag na. Maiipit lang kayo. Right? But if you are an intraday trader, please watch the market full time. And then, just do trailing stop loss. Like this one right here. Kung pumasok ka, na FOMO ka, pumasok ka around 1.2. Market siya, market siya hanggang 1.70 and then it started falling 3%, 4%, 5% from the top. Then, sell na kayo. Right? That's what you do with these kinds of stocks. Right? Grace Tuazon is asking about LMG. Right? LMG, stabilizing, no significant movement as of the moment. So, antay ka mag ban trigger or wait for it at support again. So, this is a very solid support right here. Walang gusto magbenta below that. So 5.0 is the best area to buy. 5.0 to 5.03. <clears throat> so, antayin lang muna natin. Either that or... If it triggers the Bollinger Band, and then that's your entry point. Right, that's where LMG Grace was on. Gillen Kando, yes sir, if it's SDR. Alright, so, yun. Um, tinuro ko kahapon, if you, want, if you can check the video yesterday, paano to recover from a stock na naipit kayo. STV Trader from, ayan, nabasa ko na pala yun. Per Vito, good morning Sir Lloyd, dapat sumulat ka na ng libro about stocks. Uh, that's, the, that's the goal for this year, right? I'm gonna write a book, uh, uh, abangan nyo, right? Definitely. Susan Manalo, BSC, sir. Yan. BSC, let's check out BSC. I was doing good lately, di ba? Ah, kaso nga lang, nag-pullback. Nag Yan, BSC is at MA20. This is a good position for BSC. Definitely watch out for BSC. Right? Pag nag-bounce siya, get in. Or if it continues to go down, wait for it at a support. But it's at MA20. Look at that. This is my technical analysis. Uh, favorite technical analysis tool din, yung MA20. St sitting right there. Hopefully, it holds. Pag nag-green yan after today, that's a buy, buy signal. But as of the moment, shaky pa siya. Wag muna pumasok. Wait for a confirmation bounce. Right? Or if it fails, wait for it to bounce at the support. That's the play for BSC. Right? Um, Aaron, Tan, Med. Uy, wow, ang daming tanong. Uh, Hazel Miranda, thank you so much for the help. And Robert, hindi ko napansin yung mga ano nyo, uh, yung mga binigay nyo na ano, binigay nyo na uh, super chat. Robert Anthony Tibriana, thank you so much for that. 
it. Um, Medser, yeah. Guys, if you want to support the channel and support me, help me help more Filipinos na starters, please do super chat. That will really help me and the channel in return. Aaron Tan is asking about med. Right, med, right now, after this green right here, this Bollinger Band trigger, nag pull back siya, and then we have a solid support right here, which is a higher low. This is your confirmation right there. Med, good to buy. And then just cut loss below that support. Right? Test buy lang naman, di ba? Just test buy, right? Um, this is just, uh, be mindful, yung mga recommendations ko, marami kasi ang bashers. Eh. The majority of these are, uh, what do you call this? Price action movements. I don't have time to study all the fundamentals, the deep fundamentals of all companies. So if, yung mga tinatanong niyo sa akin, I'm just basing it on price action and then fundamentals. I mean, technical analysis. Right? So, still be careful. Right? So, if, if you want if you're looking at med this is a good sign for med that's a higher low right there we have a bounce this is a higher low so that's good sign for med kasi nga lang volume is low so if you want to buy just test buy muna don't go all in kay med right rest, red spec good mor morning rodel yamas good morning morning sir str we already discussed about str fa yan fa se is one of my students nga pala i have classes this saturday and sunday 1 to 3 pm if you want a more in-depth na coaching from me, you can avail of my workshop. Just send me a message sa Financial Freedom 101 page ko or send me a PM sa Facebook ko. You can search for me, Lloyd Bazaar. Right, Sparkfire, good morning po. How about Didi? We talked about Didi already. SNC, good morning. And from Japan, si SNC. And Veronica Tabio Saris, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Darze, thank you. Hopefully, hindi po maapekto sa market. And good morning, Raquel. Ah, uh, yan. May question si Darzy. IRC. and IRC has been a good bagger. Right? Matagal-tagal na to si RAC. Eh. IRC. Uh, I did not start coaching IRC, but at this point right here, it was really undervalued. So, laki talaga ng bagger ni IRC. Has good projects. Right? Uh, we talked about IRC. Yun yung sinasabi ko. This was the support right here. And then, nag-bounce na siya. So, that was a good sign for IRC. Hindi nga, hindi nga lang ako nag-fully commit kasi I, it was very near resistance already. But look at that. Kahapon, grabe siya nag-breakout. Right? After it pulled back a bit for at ME20, nag, tuloy-tuloy na siya. So, that was our entry point. ME20, also this one right here. Um, Pinaka-best na entry point was the support right here. Right? So, right now, IRC, medyo mataas na siya. Right? It's already reaching its overbought values. It's already at 72. Wait for it to do a pullback. Right? There's still good chance for IRC to grow. Napakamura niya pa rin. Wait for it at ME20. I'd rather you guys wait for it at ME20 or it goes near its... It bounces at this resistance right here. This was the previous resistance na nag-break out siya. Right there. So this was the first solid resistance talaga. So wait for it to break uh, to at MA20. Kasi the coming days, aakit naman yung MA20 niya. So most probably at this area right here is your best entry point for IRC. Huwag na kayong mabol. Um, Darze IRC, uh, IMP. IMP. Yan. Imperial. Yan. Nag-Bollinger Band trigger na naman siya. I'm not sure how much the growth is. Yesterday, 20% uh, ang lakas. Right. So, um, IRC, uh, IMP is kind of shaky, but definitely just watch it intraday. Right? You already missed the train. Wait for it to do a pullback at MA20. MA20 will be the best position to get into. Baka mag pullback yan anytime soon. Again, guys, ito, especially for the newbies, whenever there is an exaggerated movement, expect a correction, which is a pullback, or a consolidation. Yan yung expect nyo. But this is a Bollinger Band trigger right here. There is intraday potential in this. If this starts bullish today, you can get in. Pero chupet lang. Intraday lang ha. Intraday lang guys. Time check is 9.20, 9.20 a.m. So 10 minutes more. Mag-start na market. Sige, I'll, we'll just extend again. 5 more minutes para makapag-prepare kayo sa market sa last na ano, last 5 minutes. Raquel, BPI sir. So ipit na may BPI. Don't worry about BPI. BPI is a good company. It's just that the market is very bearish as of the moment. Dividends, napakaliit lang, 0.90. Alright. So, hindi talaga siya nag effect It will be out June 29. BPI. Alright. So, na-break niya pala. Na-break niya yung support niya talaga. So, expect BPI at around 85. Right. Yan yung susunod na bounce area niya, 85 pesos. Sobrang ipit ka na. I understand. I know the feeling. 
Naiipit din ako dati. Mag-average down ka lang. Mag-ipon ka for average yung down kay BPI. If gusto mo lumabas kay BPI, whenever it rallies, just sell 20%. And then yung 20% niya, buy mo on the dips. Pag nag-dip pa yan, you buy more sa kay BPI. Ganyan yung gagawin mo para makalabas ka. Wala na akong bosses. At IDC, Poser at Bloom. Good morning. From Esther Patnugot. IDC. IDC is right here. Ayan. Look at this right here. Ito yung sinasabi ko. MA20. It went near MA20 and bounced again. Um, I'm gonna wait for it again at MA20. Most probably, it will slow down at MA20 before really bouncing up. Wait for MA20. As of the moment, hindi ko linigay siya sa recommendation ko kasi wala pa tayong bounce, confirmation bounce lagat kay MA20. But, I can be wrong. I can be too conservative sa recommendations ko. Definitely watch IDC. Ganito yan guys ha. This stock is already an uptrend. Wag na wag niyong pakakawalan na yan sa watch list nyo. Right? Even if I don't recommend it, do not remove it from your watch list. Tan um, abangan nyo yan. Monitor it lagi. Kasi pag nag-bounce yan at na-miss nyo yan, baka mag-bounce yan ng ganito at hindi na naman kayo makasakay. Right? So definitely watch it for traders especially watch it at MA, for, for it to reach at MA20 or if mag-start na mag-bullish that was your train sa Kenyo na yun before siya umakit ng mataas I'm, uh, I'm not putting IDC yet on my recommendations baka bukas baka mag-slow down lang pero I can be wrong baka umakit yan watch IDC I won't officially put it on my recommendation yet but still watch IDC um, John Paolo Gadin BDO uh, and BDO is a good company naman eh. so don't worry about BDO right now ayan, it's going near its support nag fail yung breakout first recommendation ko kay BDO if it does a breakout yun nga hindi siya nag breakout so you should have not gotten in at yung sinasabi ko kung, kung papasok kayo ng, hindi pa nag breakout look at that bumagsak diba so always wait for it to do a breakout before getting it at least yung risk nyo maliit right now it's already at support levels so maganda na si BDO support area medyo magulo yung mga tails niya so let's just do a rectangle para support area niya this is the support area this is your entry point right here around this 126 to 127 that's your entry point right pag nag bounce yan dyan pumasok na kayo as for BDO John Paolo you're welcome Verano Parkon Right, good morning, IRC. We talked about IRC already. Um, my Taiwan's diary. We already talked about Primex and Vita. Right, very good. Um, Edson, any sites for food, sir? Yeah, food. I'm looking at food. Kasi food is yeah, food is doing good. Right, earnings. Yeah, look at that. First quarter, nine hundred thirty percent. Annual, 126%. So, I'm definitely looking food. Looking at food. Ito yung sinasabi ko. If pinapanood nyo yung isang stock, this is a support right here. Nag-rally siya at then pull back. Wait. Monitor it kasi baka ma-miss nyo yung opportunity. Look at that. Nag-bounce na siya sa Bollinger Band. I mean, sa support niyang yan. Right? Right now, it's poised to break out. Rather wait for it to do a breakout. Yes, umaangat na yung Bollinger Bands niya. Pas kaso nga lang, hindi niya pa na hit talaga. Right? I'd rather wait for it to go back down, mag-bargain ng konti at around MA20, and then if, once it bounces, then ako bibili. Right? Try to look for a bargain for food. Definitely, food is gonna start to climb up. Right? These are very good numbers kay food. Right? Um, so, um, I haven't done fundamentals kay food yet. So, let's see if it's already uh, it's undervalued or not. Right? right? Um, yan? Good AMs, uh, Jose Tumun Tamundong asked about STR. We already answered STR. Si AB naman. Bilisan ko na yung mga questions nyo nga. Guys, uh, look at this right here. Ito yung sabi ko. Look at that. MA20 bounce right there. So, most probably, this is gonna play around MA20. You can test buy at around MA20. Kaso nga lang, uh, I think uh, AB, uh, medyo mataas yung presyo niya. I think AB is overpriced. But price action-wise, uh, I'm gonna double check sa fundamentals na AB ha? but price action wise um, okay na siya at MA20 you can use your MA20 as your support and test buy there okay, time check 9.26 guys I guess that's it that's all the time I have for today again Hazel Miranda thank you for the help Robert then as if you wanna support the channel please 
uh, uh, subscribe right? and like the video. It's already 9.26. Um, sorry if hindi ko nasagot ang lahat ng tanong ninyo. Medyo marami-rami yung tanong. Um, but Definitely, I'll try my best. Send me a PM. I'll try to answer you. Send me a message. I'll try to answer your questions whenever I can. Again, be ready for the Bitcoin. Uh, be ready for the Bitcoin revolution. If you don't have an account, uh, if you don't have an account to buy Bitcoin yet, go to the link on the description, coins.ph. Use that link. You can also help me by creating an account and verifying it. Right. Also, passive income. Create an eToro account. Check out copy trading. Right, so uh, guys, yung mga contents ko dito is not is only intended for educational purposes and not sh should not be considered as investment, really strong investment advices. Right, past performance ng isang company is not indication for future results. Yes, tumatama yung mga release natin, but meron naman tayong mga hindi talaga tumatama. Highly volatile investments ang stocks, right? Your capital is at risk, so be very careful with the stock market especially on this bearish market right now Uy, candy flaws it's your birthday today happy birthday and happy birthday ko lang ang pwede ko maibigay ko sa inyo and then the recommendations and the, the education and education naman um it's been a very fast one hour with you guys thank you so much for this continued support and then as always let's get rich together happy trading good luck sa trade ngayon bye bye everyone